Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. We're going to uh, do some sheet metal calculations today today, uh, in anticipation of our SolidWorks uh, CAD model and drawing we're going to do. But we want to be able to compute flat pattern links using three different uh, tools. First tool is going to be good old fashioned hand calculations. We're going to use engineering uh, computational uh, techniques to compute these flat pattern links uh, with calculations with equations. We're going to use a Benworks program. It's a nice little utility to uh, confirm those values. And then the third confirmation is going to be we're going to use SolidWorks to uh, do the flat pattern calculations for us. And if all three of those match, then we're going to have high confidence in our models and our calculations in this uh, sheet metal utility. So let's get started. So here is some uh, preliminary notes about our uh, problem we're working on for the class. And the first thing is the drawing and the dimensions or for my sheet metal part. Your sheet metal part is different because of the parameters you got in class. And so for everybody this height over here is 4.63 dimension. It's a two place decimal dimension as are these other dimensions which makes sense based on the tolerances of our part. But to make the numbers come out uh, exactly correct uh, I want you to go ahead and use the full decimal expansion of 4 and 5 eighths which is 4.65 for that height. Uh, the other thing is the uh, thickness on the drawing shows 16th of an inch thick aluminum sheet metal and yours, your thickness and your material is different based on the information I gave you during class. So don't use my thickness, use your thickness. And then finally, the uh, inside bend radius on my part is an eighth of an inch. Your thickness is going to be different and the thickness for everybody is going to be driven by this uh, design rule that I like to use, which is the inside bend radius is twice the thickness. And so in my case, I got a 0625 thick material multiplied times two. I get a 125 eighth inch thick bend radius. So don't use my dimensions for my inside bend radius. Use the design rule, which is your thickness times two. Uh, the last parameter will be the K factor that we talked about in class. K factor will be 0.44, which is a pretty good value for steels and thin uh, carbon steel and stainless steel bin radiuses based on the parameters we're using. And again, like I mentioned before, your thickness is going to be as defined as assigned with your uh, gauge values that you're going to go to Ryerson to convert the gauge values into thicknesses. And there's the design rule we just talked about. All right, so let's get into the calculation. So based on our Benworks uh, PDF file that we got, and this is a great utility, if you go help and click on the Fine Art of Sheet Metal, you're going to get a beautiful PDF file that goes through all kinds of relevant information about sheet metal bending, uh, manufacturing processes, good design rules to live by, and all these equations we're going to go through. So we reviewed that in class, so I won't waste your time reviewing it again. But that's where that lives inside that Benworks utility. All right, so inside that uh, PDF file, the equation for bend allowance is given. And there's the equation. And so I'm just going to plug in my values, which are pi times r. The inside bend radius, in my case, is uh, 125. And then we've got my K factor is 44. Thickness is 0625. We'll close the brackets on that. And we'll multiply that times the bend angle, which is 90 degrees for everybody, and divide by 180. And so if my uh, beautiful Hewlett Packard Prime calculator is working, we can punch this out. So I'll give me a pi. Let's drag this over here. So there's pi, 0.125, 0.44, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25
0.44, enter, 0.0625, and that's going to be times plus times 90, enter, 180, divide times. So if I did my numbers right, I've got 240 inches for bend allowance. If you're in the market for an engineering calculator, you haven't bought a wacky TI calculator or Casio or something silly like that, make sure you look into these HP Prime calculators. Uh, they're really, really nice. All right, so here is, uh, let's highlight this beautiful answer here. So there is answer number one. And I need to uh, calculate bend deduction uh, and it, uh, uh, eventually. And, but we need bend allowance to be able to calculate bend deduction because bend allowance is in the bend deduction equation down here at the bottom. So before we do bend deduction, we need to set it, we need to figure out outside setback. And there's no equation in the PDF file, but just looking at the picture for a 90 degree bend, you can convince yourself the outside setback is the thickness of your material plus the inside bend radius. So I can do some algebra here. 0625 plus inside bend radius is 125. So outside setback, I can do this in my head maybe. 0.1875 inches. And it looks like a good number, so we'll highlight that. <clears throat> All right, now let's do the final calculation for, to finally get to our bend deduction, and then we'll move on to calculating the flat pattern distances. So there's an equation for the bend deduction. So I'll plug in my numbers. 2 times 1875 minus bend allowance, which is 240. So bend deduction equals, let's do it on my calculator here. So I got 2 enter 0.1875 times and I was smart enough to uh, leave the 240 bend allowance on my stack so I did a swap XY minus so bend deduction is 135 inches and I'll highlight that green because it's a good thing all right, let's go uh, use that value to uh, calculate the flat pattern links. So I'll go to my second page here. I just happen to have some beautiful pictures here. So we got two flat pattern distances. We've got the picture on the right, which is going to help us calculate LT1. That's the flat pattern on the uh, near side where we got two bends. And then the picture on the left over here, maybe I should have scooted it over a little bit just to make it sure it's clear it's something different. So that's the flat pattern LT2, I call it. And so we need to calculate both LT1 and LT2. And so let's do that. So there's the equation for uh, flat pattern distance for LT1. You're basically adding up the three legs and then subtracting the bend deduction twice because of the uh, fact we got two bends. So let's Rock and roll with this thing, LT1, 4.625, plus 3.75, plus 1.8, and I'll subtract off whatever BD was, what does my calculator say, 135 times 2. And so I can do that, I'll hit enter to keep that on the stack. We're going to do 4.625 and 3.75 plus and 1.8 plus and do a swap XY two times and then subtract that from that and I get L21 is 9.904 inches. So I haven't verified it yet, but I'll highlight that green because I feel pretty confident that that's the right answer. All right, let's do LT2. LT2 is A plus B minus BD. Whoops, I don't want that. 
put my pen back. So A and B in this case is on the picture on the uh, on the left over here, this guy right here. That's LT2. And so let's go get my black pen back. So that's going to be 4.625. What's going on with my pen here? Let's try that again. A little tips coming out. There we go. 4.625 plus 0.75 minus my bin deduction. And so let's see if we can punch that out on my trusty calculator. I'll do a uh, swap variables to get my uh, Bin deduction back, so I want to do 4.625, enter, 0.75 plus, swap the variables, and do minus. And so LT2, my HP Prime calculator tells me it's 5.24 inches. So do we believe that? I don't know. Let's go check and see what uh, Benworks says. So in Benworks, I'm going to uh, Metric Imperial. I go to Imperial Units. Oh, why is it not working here? Mm, doesn't like something. Maybe I need to get rid of my PDF file. Now I should be happy. Imperial Units. My thickness is 0 0.0625. My bend angle is 90. The bend radius is 0 0.125. K factor is 44. And let's do LT2 first. So this is going to be 4.625. And the leg, other leg is going to be 75. I hit calculate. Boom! 5.2395. 5.240. That looks like a direct hit. So I've confirmed that my number from Benworks matches my number right there. Let's get the old red pen out here. That's good. That's a golden thing. So that number matches that number. All right, let's do the uh, let's do it again for LT1. So I'm going to thickness is the same in my case. Bin radius same. Bin everything is the same. This is gonna, I got to do this twice though, because I've got two pieces. I got this L here. And I've got this L here. So I'm going to do 375 divided by 2. I'm going to cut it in half here. And I'm going to do it twice and add the two numbers together. And so this other link is going to be 1.875. That's half of 3.75. I'll calculate. I'll get my pen out here. Write down that value. The, the bend deduction is the same on all these because it's the same thickness, same bend radius, same, uh, same uh, thickness. And so I'm going to write this number over here. It says it's 6 point... What is it? 6.3680. Alright, so I'll call that LT11. And then LT12. will be the same thing, except this leg goes from this to this. And then I calculate. Now I've got the same bend deduction. This is 3.543. 3.5430. So what if I add those up? I'm do this in my head. That's a 1. Carry 1. That's a 0. Carry 1. That's a 9. That's a 9. 9.901. 9.904. Did I do that right? Let's check my calculator. Maybe I did it wrong here. So I got 3.54304. Enter. Let's get this other number back here. This is going to be 4.625. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? 1.885. No wonder the number doesn't match up. Jeez. All right, let's get rid of this crap here. Use the eraser. This is all crap. How come nobody told me? 
Nobody threw the red flag up. So I'll call it LT11. And maybe I did it right this time. 6.3645. And then LT12. Hopefully this is going to work. It's going to be embarrassing with that. This is going to be points, uh, 1.8. 3.5395 5, 3. 3. 5, 3. 3. 5, 3. 5, 3. 3.5395 Did I screw that up? I don't think so. 5 and 5 is 10. That's a 4. That's a 0. That's a 9. That's a 9. What do you think? Boom. They match. All right, that's what I like to see. So now I've got two matches. I've got a match on LT1 and LT1, LT1 and LT2 between Benworks and my hand calculations. So the last piece of the puzzle is to get SolidWorks to spit out an answer. And if they all three match, then we give ourselves a gold star. So take that information. Use those... Uh, those uh, techniques, don't use my numbers, but use those techniques to get your answer and then show those to me in class today so you earn those points. And until next time, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services, and we'll check you out on the next video.